Well, hi, everybody. Thank you for being here at the 20th Century Foxes show. You know, they almost called this show uh, Old Cats About to Croak, but they thought it might be offensive. Anyway, my name is Ruth Brandt. The D in my last name is silent, just like my love life. My pronouns are she, her, and exhausted. And before I continue, I just need to address a slight rumor that's been going around the comedy circuit. I am not Lady Gaga's mother. I am also not Barbara Streisand's daughter. And I am definitely not Christine Baranski's sister. What I am, exactly, is a Scorpio type A Jew, originally from New York. Emphasis on the type A. I do identify as determined. So, um, you know, some mothers are concerned that their kids don't love them enough. I have the opposite situation. My kids love me too much. I was an empty nester for about six blissful months, and then they all came back. <laughs> and so I went from being an empty nester to an eternal nester. If I want to have some peace and quiet, I escape my own house to go to Barnes and Nobles, where I can sit in a room full of strangers just so I can concentrate and get some work done. My son called me up the other day. Mom, where did you go? Who are you with? When are you coming home? I never ask my kids these questions. Why? Because I know they will always come back. Anyway, I was uh, on a very happy hiatus from dating, and then my eldest daughter said to me, Mom, you know, uh, you're too young to give up on love. I said, I haven't given up on love. I've given up on Los Angeles. <laughs> so she insisted on signing me up for another dating app, which is quite popular. You may have heard of it. It's called... Um, uh, DesperateJews.com. <laughs> Within two days, I had close to 80 circumcised penises reach out to me. <laughs> it was exhausting. If you knew what was out there, you would never leave your house. I have a range of characters that I've met from the age of 36 until death. Men my age do not want to date me because I remind them that they too will die one day. <laughs> you know, dating in midlife is no picnic. Uh, it's like having a second job, except you don't get paid or laid. <laughs> and I don't even know what my type is these days, but I do know what it used to be, because apparently when I was married, I liked a man who was tall, dark, and unfaithful. These days, I will go for a guy who can speak in complete sentences. Most of the men I've met haven't read a book since 1989. Uh, I have given up on finding Prince Charming on the white horse. Actually, the horse is starting to look real good to me. <laughs> Don't knock it until you try it. And I think it's high time that I look for a sugar daddy. I want somebody who is on an oxygen tank and having visions of his dead relatives. <laughs> I had several men reach out to me this week. One was named Jesus, the other one was named Junior, and one called himself Pooh Bear. I think Jesus is a possibility. He's Jewish, he can turn water into wine, and I won't have to sleep with him. Um, I did have a man who I vibed with, and um, unfortunately, the following day, he sent me a picture of himself in his tight white boxer briefs with the caption, don't I look good for 61? I replied, you look chilly, and then I blocked him. <laughs> I've gotten some dick pics since my divorce. I don't want to see that nonsense. If you want to go out with me, send me a picture of a cannoli. That's my aphrodisiac. And if you really want to get me all hot and bothered, 
send me a photo of a slice of New York City pizza, and I might show you my pepperonis. That's my time. My name is Ruth Brand.